Now, um, when, we're, when we're talking about hypnosis and we're talking about the, the optimum learning tool for the human mind, okay, we're really talking about the, ins the instincts. Now, if hypnosis has been successful, if you've uh, used self-hypnosis, for example, to um, get yourself feeling more confident in, in social situations, for example, or you've uh, had hypnosis as a, as a form of therapy in order to overcome a phobia, or to stop smoking, or to begin to come out of depression, or whatever it might be, then really what's happened is that on some level your, your instincts have, have changed. You, you've, you've updated your instinctive response to something, which is very different from trying to be different or trying to do stuff differently. It's much more satisfactory when people just don't feel like smoking anymore, rather than when they have to try not to smoke. It's a difference. Or um, it, it's, it's more pleasing if someone f just doesn't have the phobic response to something anymore. It just doesn't get wheeled out anymore. Okay, things are different. So they see a spider, and now they feel relaxed. And we've certainly experienced people who, who've seen a spider. They've started to run away through habit before realizing that they're no longer frightened of spiders. Okay. Their, their instincts have learned something new, even if the conscious mind didn't yet believe it until further evidence was produced. Okay. So, because human problems, for example, are based, are maintained on an instinctive level, then it makes sense to work on the instinctive level in order to overcome them. Okay. People who have panic attacks don't generally consciously decide to have a panic attack. It just kind of happens. Okay. Or people who blush, they don't, they don't sort of tend to think, right, okay, now's a good time to blush. Okay, actually, yep, now's a good time to blush. I'll just start blushing. It kind of just happens by itself. It gets wheeled out from, from the unconscious mind. Okay. So in order to change that response, then we need to deal with unconscious processes. And we do this, do this through, the, through the REM state, or, or otherwise known as a hypnotic state.